All right, welcome to the podcast. On today's show, we're talking to Panit from Guru Nanda. Thanks for joining the podcast. You're probably one of the most influential people on TikTok. Let's start the business. So what is the business? What is Guru Nanda for people listening? So Guru Nanda is all about making sure that you be the guru of your own wellness. That is our tagline. And I wanted to ensure that I bring the holistic wellness to the world and marry the ancient wisdom of Ayurveda that has sustained the country of India for centuries and marry it with the modern science that is clinically backed and then bring it to the people, to my country, which is currently America. I'm American Indian. Mm -hmm. The one thing I think most people will look at you and say is like for the few people who know who you are on TikTok, you have quite the following. I think the thing I talk to entrepreneurs all about all the time is why don't they use TikTok as a tool? There's a billion people on TikTok today. Uh, we had Cakes Body on the podcast. Cakes Body went from zero dollars to a million dollars because of one viral video on TikTok. They're now a hundred million dollar business over the course of two and a half years. I mean, unbelievable growth. They were on Shark Tank. All the things. When I think about you, you know, you're you're you. You're who you are. You're not this hot girl that I think most people equate TikTok success to or some like young influencer, that's not you at all. You're a guy who cares about wellness. You're a guy who's trying to give people insight into improving their health, right? Taking control. And you've gone viral also. And so what, I, I want to just get into your journey. What led you to TikTok and were, were you apprehensive at the beginning also? So I would uh, tell you the truth. The reason, number one reason I've been popular, actually, thankfully, in gratitude, extremely popular on TikTok is because I've been very honest. I'm just me on TikTok. I'm not trying to be somebody. Like earlier, whenever I used to spend money or be on uh, like the other social platforms like Instagram and Facebook, I realized that I had hired agencies. These agencies were charging me a lot of money. I was spending a lot of money advertising and getting nothing in return. Like for $1 spent, I was getting 50 cents back. I said, this is unsustainable as a business. So I'm an accidental TikToker. Some lady out of the woodworks back in a trailer park back in Philadelphia, she talked about how Guru Danda oil pulling saved her teeth from getting dentures. That video went viral. That got like five or six million views. My phone uh, was on uh, ring mode. Wherever, whenever I got a sale on Amazon, it would ring. So I, it was running like a church bell, literally, because yeah. every second I was getting a sale. And I said, what is going on? Maybe uh, somebody like Oprah Winfrey has talked about it. Sure. But I Googled, found nothing. Then somebody told me that you're, one of your TikToks have gone viral. Mm-hmm. I said, TikTok? Uh, I, uh, so I called my daughter. I said, how do I get on TikTok? <laughs> she said, oh, that's for 14-year-olds. So... I said, okay, I'll try. So I went on TikTok. I looked at that post. I started answering and clarifying questions because many people were spreading rumors. Does it reverse cavities in a day? It can grow teeth. I said, no, 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 no. This is an Ayurvedic regimen that if you follow it, it's a preventative regimen. If you follow it, it will actually loosen your biofilms. You then brush post rinse uh, using this product so that you actually take out the homes of the bad bacteria, the streptococcus mutants that cause cavities. You actually don't let them reside on your, behind the plaque, behind the biofilms that they keep on forming as their shield point. So this has got a clinically backed approach. It is an Ayurvedic regimen that has been used for hundreds of hundreds of years. But what we did was we made it according to the uh, American palate. We used fractionated coconut oil. So you like a lot of people in America were using coconut oil, so they would get jaw pain, they would have tough time scooping up the coconut, they'd use it for a month and stop using it. Yeah. So we have fraction, though it always stays liquid. And then they had other inhibitions of using it this way or that way. We made it very simple. We added the essential oils to it that actually each essential oil is either a natural an- anesthetic or natural antibiotic or natural antiseptic. Things like tea tree, things like peppermint, spearmint, things like that you use in your kitchen, like or, oregano, mm-hmm. things that are very, very pow- powerful, tea tree, clove. But then we added vitamin K2, which doesn't let the calcium stick to the teeth, enamel. 
and we added vitamin D3 to ensure your bones stay healthy. We added vitamin E so that your mucosa is healthy, and then we got it clinically tested. People were of very high repute. We hired the CROs of high repute. We have five clinically, uh, clinical studies already done, and we have over 15 clinical studies, including one that we are negotiating with one of the top, top Howard institutes. So that is the amount of money we're spending in clinicals. Okay. So expertise okay. is all about bringing uh, expertise when married with science, married with passion, mm -hmm. becomes a brand. Mm -hmm. So that is my saying. And, and I, I think that is what is happening. TikTok gave me the loudspeaker. Yeah. The moment I started talking about it, people resonated. And I was literally started answering them in my bed, on my bedroom, in my bathroom. Like TikTok is for real people. Instagram and uh, Facebook, my marketing head, she used to tell me, oh, you got to brush your hair, you got to wear a jacket. TikTok is for real people. I you are you. Yeah. And as long as you are you, you will be successful on TikTok. Because everybody who's watching TikTok is real people and they only connect to people who are real. The true who are self. truthful and trust me, People see through TikTok somehow. They see through your eyes, they see through TikTok. If you're lying, people will know. And most people lie on social, not on TikTok. The moment they lie, people boycott them. It's so smart, people underestimate people. Yeah. People are so smart. A lady sitting 42, sitting in Texas, single mom, she knows more about vitamin K2 than a medical doctor in a lot of the big hospitals around me. I am telling you, people should not underestimate the common man. Common man is growing up. Social media, because these people might have gone to six years into medical school, sure. but they are just siloed into one specific thing that was taught in medicine. 15 hours of nutrition or six, 20 hours of nutrition. But this mom sitting in Texas home is so smart, she's reading every day, she's listening to hundreds of YouTubers, she's listening to hundreds of people, she's listening to TikTok. She is so amazingly intelligent that she's actually got more idea on how some of these things that are never taught can be used in her kitchen, in her supplement box, or in for her own self, for her own being, for her own body, and people whom she loves. That's true, first of all, and I think people can get the access to the data so much faster now than they could before. At what point were, did you realize you were onto something on TikTok? At what point did you realize it was bigger than just you know this one person giving their experience of your product? So about eight or ten days later, I posted one video. And, and when that, you post it, give people a window, because I think I'm being serious when I say this. There's so many people I speak to that are afraid. They think they have to edit this video. No. They think they need to hire a social media person that's like no. just graduated college. That's, Give them a window into what you did. You take your phone out, you, you record yourself. Just give them a window. I got to know about our oil pulling video, went viral through some lady. I started looking at the questions people were posing. I started answering them. Okay. And this was 10 o'clock at night on a Saturday. And I was answering them till 6 o'clock next morning. And a whole night I was answering them. My fingers were hurting. So I saw there was a little camera thing. So I, I, I pressed that by mistake and I said, okay, it showed me my face. I said, hello, this is this. I just did, did a test okay. run yep. and pressed and it went and loaded. So I said, okay, so I, am, I can answer my thing through a camera. Mm -hmm. So I just went to the bathroom brush and cleaned myself up a little bit, shaved and started answering, no edits, nothing. I didn't know anything about edits. I'm like as dumb in computers as people can understand. <laughs> okay. I mean, people think I'm Indian, so I'll probably know every code. <laughs> That's not true. That's hilarious. Yeah, I, I like people, first thing they, are you a computer scientist? I said, please, I, I don't know anything about computers. That's, and that's I had really no editing experience. I just yeah. loaded, boom, gone. I just started becoming myself. And my uh, marketing head, she called me and she said, Dr. Fresh, what are you doing? You, you, you're going to ruin your image. You, you're putting videos that look shabby. I said, it's my page. I had made a page because Puneet Nanda was not available, so I called it I am Puneet Nanda. And I said, I'm not touching Guru Nanda page, the company page. I'm just going to do it as if 
I can put my video, dancing, I can do whatever I want, right? As I'm a personal person. Okay. So if I wouldn't have shown you, you wouldn't even known that I'm doing this. Mm -hmm. So about five or six days into it, I just made a few videos about products and loaded them like, hey, this is my product and this is the ingredients, yep. exactly what I'm just telling Just explaining you. why, yep. And then that day I was taking a B12 because I was feeling a little low, I took a B12, under my tongue sublingual B12. And I explained to people that if you take a B12 sublingually, it enters your bloodstream directly, it is bypassing the first pass system. That video, by the time I reached home, was like 80,000 views. Oh my God, and that was not even my product. Right. You're it was a Spring people. Valley product that, product that I'd bought from Walmart in their private label. And uh, I said, oh my God, this is unbelievable. So that means people are looking for education. People are looking for knowledge that I have. So I should start imparting knowledge. So that's what I started doing. I started deciphering each product into why this happens kind of becoming a chat GPT to people without chat GPT being there at that time. And, and it just resonated with people. At the time, where were you selling the product? Was it online? Yes, we were on Amazon. We were um, selling gurunanda.com. We had oil pulling already, luckily, in Walmart stores okay. on a limited basis. But then once it went viral, they expanded it. So now we are in every store. We are, we've got a little more, more shelf presence. And now we've got dual chamber mouthwash. We've got uh, a couple of other SKUs, uh, like w some stores carry the whitening strips, some stores. Now, going forward, they'll all carry the whitening strips. Yeah. And so you see, just to give people a window into this, you see a bump. Obviously, if a, if a video goes viral, you'll see a bump online sales. That's easy. You have that data. When it comes to the Walmart data, do you see that too? You see the velocity? Go okay, immediate. immediately. So what I started doing was, uh, I started seeing that, first of all, initially when TikTok did not have TikTok shop, mm -hmm. it didn't matter if you were talking about Walmart or if you're talking about Amazon or any other brand. Right. Now they do not, I think this is my thinking, that TikTok doesn't make those Walmart videos or Amazon videos sure. go viral. That makes sense. They have some kind of algorithmic change. But earlier, I would talk about Walmart, hey, go buy my product at Walmart. I'll give uh, whosoever is buying the product, I'll go to a Walmart. If I see them, I'll give them a $100 bill or something like this. Sure, fun. And I would do it. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, I would see, boom, there's so many people buying at Walmart. Yeah. So stuff like that. So uh, the, the takeaway, I think, is for people just to be authentic, be your true self. Yeah. Get on TikTok as fast as you can. Don't mm -hmm. listen to your marketing people because they're going to want to try to make it look really pretty. I and think people, the it doesn't marketing resonate. people, they actually trying to do an overkill. Yeah, they are. They're over engineering. Don't try to be perfect. Yeah. Just over do it. Yeah. Just do it. I think the thing I tell founders that I speak to about this topic who are pre-social media but have a product is always just to test things. I'm like, look, don't look at it like your marketing people are right or wrong. No. Just start testing things on TikTok. No. Because you know you don't even know who your customer is half the time, right? And I did not know. Right. Actually, this is what I discovered. Earlier I used to think my customer is that yoga mom that is always having a little totally yoga. well educated so whenever i would advertise on instagram and facebook i would talk about yoga 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 no 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 not even one percent of my customer is a yoga mom that's interesting my customer i found is the lady between 35 and 55 who's actually the lowest income mm. and they are struggling they are actually replacing unfortunately they shouldn't but they are replacing their time that they have between them going to a dentist and kind of sustaining themselves till that time. Mm. Because somehow after using this, they've seen that they get at least that five or 10 day window that they are actually in a mess. They, they find some relief and that is what drives them back again and again and again. And that is one thing that is my largest consumer base. That's fascinating. They so see within one ball, they see a relief, yeah. and boom. Then they realize it's an everyday regimen. It's not a one-time deal. Yeah. So they stick to it. Not everybody, I would say 30 to 35% stick to it. And those who do, I personally believe, because this is what happened with me, I started using it. Actually, I have prescription for that. I was told to go get a root canal done. And 
incidentally, when I was going through my journey of learning Ayurveda yoga after selling my first company, the guy who was the head of that institute, he put, he said, don't worry, we'll, if you've got some problems, we'll try to solve it. And he gave me the oil pulling and I started doing it. It's been 14 years now. I don't have any root canal. You can check it. It went away. No, it, it didn't go away, but, but it, it didn't deteriorate. It subsided. I had messy teeth. I used to eat a lot of fruit, a lot of fruit. I used to drink four or five cups of coffee and not wash my mouth right after. So it's acid that erodes. It's the demineralization that's happening in your teeth or remineralization at any given time. Citrus fruits, oranges. I had a couple of orange trees that like bore fruit like nobody's business. In that fruit season, I would eat like 20 oranges every day. Little did I realize that I'm actually demineralizing my enamel. Sure. People don't know that. Yeah. Uh, same thing, people keep sipping wine, people keep sipping coffee. Like I see a guy in, uh, somebody that used to work with me in my office, he bought a cup of Starbucks in the morning and by four o'clock he was sipping on it. He, what are you doing? Demineralizing your enamel. That enamel that will never grow, regrow back. And that education is extremely important that nobody gives you. No dentist tells you because he doesn't have the time to deal with of course. training you. He, he needs to drill, fill, and bill to, so that he can pay his <laughs> office medical bills. Yeah. I mean, the dentist industry is so interesting, too, because it's like a, if, if you were to say do anything, it would be flossing over brushing. I wouldn't say I think both are integral. So people have this, should I floss, should I brush? I think it's like, one can, man can't exist without a woman and woman can't without a man. It's both very important. Okay. And I think water flossing yeah, is extremely important. Yeah. Do you sell any is, of those yourself? I, we do, we do. Okay. And again, my whole idea was bridging the gap. Yeah. So my idea was bridge the gap between the ancient wisdom and uh, modern science. Similarly, bridge the gap, bring highest quality products because that's, that is what I used to do. I used to manufacture products for other retailers, other brands. So instead of that, we took all the manufacturing and started creating product at a price point that is highest quality, similar to what you would expect of the biggest brands at a price that's half the price or less. So that is what we're doing. So with Water Flosser, we're selling it for like between $20, $30. Wow. So the idea is to bring something that is extremely important to a consumer that is not tested it because it was so high a price. The big brand, that was the most known brand that invented it, was selling for over $100. So many people were scared, even me. I didn't want to buy something for $100 that I didn't know what it would do. Little did I realize it changes lives. Yeah. It changes your life, water flosser. Similar to that, oil pulling, tongue scraping. Simple thing as tongue scraping, which is coming free in this box. It changes lives because people don't realize when they brush their teeth, it's 50% of the plaque gone. The rest 50% is on your tongue. So where does that 50% go? Comes back on your teeth yeah. and gums. You're doing half job. Yeah. Do you still go to the dentist? <laughs> uh, Just for I cleanings? Do. Absolutely. Yeah. I would not replace anything. I do go to ISO ear yeah. to the dentist. Yeah. And I want to make sure that the dentist, whatever little plaque, even if I do the best I can, right, they have all the tools. still will be, yeah. like I can say um, this oil pulling is magic, there still will be some stuff that a dentist needs to put his eyes on yeah. and ensure. You also need to get the x-ray done. There could be something in there because an ounce of prevention is better than a pound of cure. Mm -hmm. I rather catch it early and treat it rather than waiting till the last moment and then lose it. Yeah. So I don't want to lose my teeth. These are babies, you don't want to lose them. I know a lot of my family back in India, I know some people who've lost their teeth and they were just 60 and they lost like half their teeth. I don't want to be in that situation. <laughs> I'm sure you won't be. How big do you want to take this company? Like what products do you have on the market now? We're already number three in Walmart, AC Nelson Data. Number one is Listerine, number two is TheraBreath, and number three is Guru Nanda. If you look at last 12 months, AC Nelson Data. Uh, in last 12 months, we were, most of the months, about eight months of the year, we were number one on Amazon. Uh, the oil pulling, uh, right now we're number two. And we're literally now in Walgreens, CVS, Albertsons, Kroger's, Myers, HEB, TJ Maxx. Every store is now starting to look at the power of oil pulling. I did not go the whole food route 
because to me, it seems... Well, that's not your customer, you That's said. not my customer. Right. It's the yoga mom who's buying at Whole Foods, the people with money who just have everything available to them. They are maybe not my customers. My customer is somebody, somebody who's actually replacing it those 10 days of usage where she doesn't know what to do. She's in a bad mess before she can get the dental appointment. That's right. And then and they realize all of a sudden, oh, this, this has is changed my life. I'm going to stick to it. So I want to play this th thought experiment for a second. And so if I'm a marketing company today and I see your product, your branding, they're going to want to change the colors probably. They're going to want to probably change the font, all these things to appeal to like the, a different demographic. Yeah, right? a lot of people actually, you're so right. Number one, teal makes you heal. That is my... The color teal. Teal. Yeah. In dentistry, uh, red color represents blood, which it is blood color. And red and blue are the most famous colors for most of the brands. Uh, Colgate could be red, Crest could be blue, Aquafresh could be red and blue combined. So everybody is something about red and blue. So um, I want it to be different. And um, I was studying uh, colors. And in Ayurveda and yoga, they talk about orange, the color of energy. And similar to that, like when you do sun salutations, you use orange color. And, and um, I, I saw that teal makes you heal as it healed me. And colors are very powerful, by the way, in case you didn't realize colors change you. Yeah. And secondly, the uh, mandalas that you see. So there is, in India, there is like Taj Mahal and all those places that you India is known for. There are, used to be kings who had queens that would go in a healing room, which were, had teal color on it with a mandala, special kind of a mandala. When they were in a romantic mood, they would go in a certain specific color where they would have a different mandala. If they were into relax mode, they were into different one. Healing mode, they had a different color. Color in a different mandala. I kind of use that Indian mythology, studied that and bought this to life in my packaging. So it is very authentic. I'm marrying ancient wisdom, yeah. which had been there for hundreds and thousands of years, and now bringing it with a product that is clinically backed. I want to ask you, as we can wrap on this, so as you're going through your journey of what seems to be today a founder in the CPG world, at some point there must be a part of you really connecting the dots here and saying, you know, what's really, what people are connecting with is you, yep. not so much your product, right? And yes. I think that's the reality. And so I think every t person who's now a TikToker, the reality of it is people connect with you. And so when you think about that in an expansive environment, Right. So forget the product for a second. Where, where do you see yourself going forward now that you know people and your message resonate? So I want to uh, keep my identity, although it's the same, because I realized I was studying about exactly what you just said. I was on a podcast called Brand Called You. And, and that brand, when I started look, understanding the keyword Brand Called You, I saw that most of the famous brands the founders are the ones that make the brand happen, like Elon Musk. Sure. If Elon Musk wouldn't be there, I wouldn't be driving a Tesla, 100%, right? Similar to that, it is the founders that make or break a brand. And if the founders are not bold enough to go and face the public, tell me a big company, CPG, CEO, that actually comes and talks to the public. I answer people on TikTok over a thousand questions every day myself. I have two other girls now helping me out, but I get like four or 5,000 questions every day. Yeah. So I, have, I still try to answer as many people as I can personally so that I connect to the common crowd yeah. and which tell me one CPG company, big CPG company, the CEO comes and talks to them. That is what people were missing. Yeah. And that is exactly what is resonating. What I want to do is I want to continue building my own personality. I want to actually empower people, be the guru of their own wellness. I want to pick up products, tell them, okay, this has got sodium lauryl sulfate. And sodium lauryl sulfate could cause this, this, this issues if you're having a lot of mouth sores or this and that. This could be the result. Now I want you to be the guru of your own wellness and determine whether you want that product or you want an alternative. And this is the alternative that I use but you be the guru of your own wellness. I, give, I want to give them the choice. Yeah. I want them to get empowered. And that is exactly my goal. I love it.
Well, thanks for coming on the podcast. Thank you for having me. Where can people find you? Where can they follow? Where can they buy? Uh, they can actually uh, f- find me on TikTok at I am Puneet Nanda. They can also find me on Instagram at I am Puneet Nanda, or uh, I just started a YouTube channel called Puneet Nanda. Now, if they want to follow the uh, company, it's Guru Nanda everywhere, Guru Nanda Official, and gurunanda.com. They can find products on Amazon and retail stores like Walmart uh, carry a pretty wide variety of our products. Love it. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, share with your friends, your family, or anyone you might think might benefit from the conversation we've had today. And if you haven't already, please take a moment to leave a review on your favorite podcast platform. We'd greatly appreciate it. Your feedback helps us improve and reach more people who can benefit from our discussions. The best way to stay connected with us and get the latest updates on future episodes is through our social media channels. You can find us at Startup Storefront. We'll be back next Tuesday with another great episode. See you then.